morning, it's me, Luis. So one more day is a nice day. It's really sunny. It's gonna be a hot day. That's very good because this glue, I love it because it always made more. It's more soft when it's very hot day. So now today we have this one. I know, guys, oh, the same like me, same like I do. I hate the 1549s, especially someone already replaced it because they put a lot of glue. And also the problem with this one I found all the time in my life is this kind of bended and this part right here is a lot. So it's one of those very difficult glasses about talking about the bended you know the concept on this part of the glass so now today I'm gonna to use the mangoes so but I'm gonna use another technique remember always follow the manufacturing instructions this is my technique this is my way and I do this one only when the glasses are really difficult at the corners okay if I use the mangoes now today I hope my drill is fine I gotta choose one point of charge I get the other one charging but I don't have more time to wait so this is what I do everything is stripped everything is ready so the glass is already uh, aftermarket so that way maybe I'm not warranty the glass will be safe okay but I will try to do it because I want to make the the place happy it's Thursday it's slow and people want to keep the money so that's what we have to make so I'm gonna cover right there and now this is the technique what I'm doing when I have this kind of glasses you can reposition your tool in any another spot of the car or the glass sorry so if I go in this corner this kind of bandit is going to touch too much this one forcing my my such a cap and maybe they don't let me attach and I'm going to have red line all the time so what I do is in this case is take my guide out pretty easy I just set this tool probably on this point you can go more here or you can go here no matter because the tick, uh, the uh, the diameter and this one is going to make the turn so don't worry about that so i'm going to sit here remember push the air out first and that way you don't have to be pumping pumping because the problem is when the people attach and they start pumping it's difficult to the pump get the air really fast and it's going to make the system the red line showing 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 so that's why I push it, take the air out, and just pumping, okay? So this is my socket, the first one I have, so it's more loosening in the middle, in the center, than the new one, because the new one is stuck, that's why you see me lift that one over here. That's gonna be losing with a couple of use it. So, okay, so my charge, I crossing my fingers, this is gonna make it. I'm gonna lose the gauge. So I'm gonna try to make not any kind of cut in my video, video and you see it's cutting in one time. I'm not cheating to rely re 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 the line or something. There you go, it's a big uh, piece of urethane over there. So let's gonna start. First remember, slowly, slowly, you see, you feel it. When you feel it, you can go faster. So remember, that's what I told you, training your finger. You can play with the gears but or the, or the, or the torque, but if you know how to control your finger, you're gonna feel all the tension. Believe it or not, this transfer to the system, and you're feeling exactly right here. So you're not gonna trust in the gear here or here, you trust in this part of the tiger, okay? The same like the cutting gun, okay? So we go more, you see, I can go more faster. I don't have any problem at all. You see, I release it. I feel resistant. My drill is almost dead, I think it's dead. So about like that. Maybe I'm not gonna make it because my drill is completely out. Okay, you see that? But even in that way, I can make the cut because the difficult parts, I'm just pushing. My drill is almost dead, okay? That's it. That's all for my drill. I tried to beat the charge, but it's too much. It was only one point, so it's already out. So I'm gonna get the other one, but it's in the same way. So, but that's all I need to finish the cut. If I put in the second the speed, Probably I'm gonna be more keep more charge, but it's gonna be gone. So I think it's that's all I need now. That's normal, it's gonna be gone probably a couple of times. You see that? Very easy. 
Now we'll get the corner here, pitch wheel. Sorry about that. I didn't tie this one fine. That's why I recommend it by a good one. Now I'm getting problems with this part of my drill. So that's why I have to buy a new one. You see, I can run here and that's it. I stop in that point. Buy the new one and the better is the best option. This is not good anymore. I have to just replace it. Oh, because I use it a lot. So that's why I put this drill to the limit. But I don't think so. But I mean, Ryobi is good for cheap, but you gotta buy another one, better brand. Okay, so now, getting this. Okay, I'm gonna lose here. And do the same, okay? On this point, remember, in this part, it's because the glass is really bent, I push in the air. There you go. Okay, and now, you can see this tension, the noise, you can feel it here, because that's gonna, you feel more uh, resistance by the glue. My drill is gonna die again. Okay. See you guys. Remember, my drill is the problem, okay? Not the tool. This drill is not good anymore. I wanna replace it for a new one. Soon I finish here because I'm getting problem all day yesterday. So tomorrow, no today, are you gonna go? Maybe a uh, Milwaukee, probably. I think it's the best, some of the best ones. This one is not good anymore. My cup right there, remember? I'm gonna just move now. Okay, if I finish it, I can finish the videos because the battery is gone and I don't have another one, okay? So, this one is gonna be like this. Now, this one, remember, is just because I went too close to here, but I can go more far, so I'm not have to touch my system. In this case, I'm not cutting the video, but in those way, you have to go probably a little more back over here. In this place, right here, it's much better. Okay, and this one is over here. Right here, okay. Yeah, you can see the hits over here, it's got a two hits. This is easy, the, uh, you know, the ball eyes, it's, it's very easy to fix it. Oh, let me go on the second gauge. In this case, I think it's gonna keep more the charge safe. And just put the system here and finish the cut. I have to change the speed because that's going to give me the charge more easy if I put whole speed. Are you going to see the cut right there? That's it. My drill died. <laughs> you see? Almost there. There you go. Okay guys, as you see, the glass was safe. Sorry about the, in this area. The problem is I put too much on this one because I always had the noise. In this case, uh, this case I got, went too far. So that's why I didn't have the room on the first time for the suction cup. But you see the, the technique here is when you get on this distance, the same like you got the noise here. But after you get this area, just pass your cup over here and just finish the cut. And this way the stress on the glass is always in this part. And if you put the anchor outside, you can do it it's not a problem sometimes the glass is going to try to go in that direction or sometimes the people break the corners over here or the corners over here but when you're crossing the lines here the tension is only in one spot okay guys so i hope you like the video today i didn't make any cut because i want to show you why i don't make the cuts because maybe people think i'm cheating when maybe i break in the line and you know i just refit in the line no i just one time right there and I have this line for probably more than five times already so it's really nice and I'm gonna put the glass in a safe spot and this guy's gonna be happy because they don't want to put more money in this car 
Okay, and you see, that's all. So very nice pull out. I'm just gonna clean it and keep it inside the shop and ready to install again. Okay guys, and you see, it's a tough, really a lot of glue there. I think by using this tractor, I will more, it's gonna be a little more difficult. That depends on the technique of the glassman, of course. But I like more this one because I'm inside the car in a hot day. If I don't have sensors, I can get the car off with the AC. But if it's the sensors, I cannot turn the car on, okay? So, but you see, everything is pulled out at one time. Very nice. You see how far the glue is? So, but it's okay. Okay, guys, hope you like the video. Let's see you in the next shot because I got more jobs to do. See you next. So we have this one is the Panamera 2015. We'll be placing the windshield because it's broken now. Remember, we already stripped all the parts. We remove it, all the sensors, the landing part. So remember, don't start the car. You have all the sensors out, especially when they're connected because the laser is gonna just shoot in all directions, and you have to recalibration. But no matter what, you have to send this one to recalibrate inside the shop. In this case, in my dealerships, you know, I have to just send them to inside, and they do it. Maybe. If I buy the opt-in for a uh, pinking top, but that's more than 10, 10 grand, it's a lot of money. No, no. Okay, guys, so I'm not gonna make any, any cut in the video because I wanna show you I cut them one time, one speed, because I don't wanna you start thinking maybe I'm cheating when I cut the video because they say, no, nah, he snapped the line, he broke the line, no. It's because sometimes I cut the video because sometimes I have people talking, people coming, and I start talking, and I forget and I'm recording, and you know, it's, that's why, okay? So let's start doing this one. Let me find my stick. I love this one. Because this one, I love it because it's bended like this, has a curve. So with those, every time I sit on these corners, or here, you can see it's got a lot of room and the, and the core go straight on and don't make any, any stress. This place is really flat. The problem with this one, I bought it in Amazon a long time ago and yesterday I was, was uh, you know, searching for the part again and they don't have a belly anymore so I'm not sure who is, uh, you know, uh, distribute, distribute this one but it's no more in the market. You can go online or on the internet or eBay and see if you can find it but I don't see it anymore so let's gonna start working here. Remember, all the tricky here is your fingers okay the tensions transfer to here to your fingers you can start in the corner slowly you can go to the second speed if you want and you can start breaking that part of the glass or, I mean not the glass the glue slowly you see you see soon they pass the only you have to do is change the speed Okay, I think I have this one. I remember this one is the other one I have. I already charged one. Because this one is dead. Let me see this one. Perfect, full charge. Remember I thought I already charged the other one, but that one was the last one we used for the, for the Chevy. So I'm not gonna keep the video because maybe if I don't wanna lose the video like this, I can cut, and, but I don't wanna you start thinking I break the line. So let me just go, pull, you see, when I feel something, I let it go a little bit, so I'm not pushing, pushing, because you have to use your sense when you're working and feeling the tight, okay, and slow, you got it, gap right there, double, you can pass to the second speed, you see, I feel in the tension, as soon as I pass the tension or feel something really big, I can go to the high, and that's it. Careful with your bin number. Remember, these kind of bin numbers can be trapped by the line and they can be bended and broken. And there's no way you can reuse it. They're damaged really bad. Okay. There you go. I think it's enough. Let me see if I can get it. Because this one is really tight. There you go. So we get past that part. Okay. Corners, you want to reduce the speed? Soon you passed, back to the speed. I'm gonna use my stick here. I got a little piece of paper right there.
you want to pass to the second and that's it okay now let's go the grease is normal because remember this grease inside is going to be out a couple times so don't worry about that okay guys now we're going to transfer remember little torn here it's a little greasy but let me just turn with my drill because this little grease is making a little problem all right Now remember push it, get the air out before you pump in and that's it. Because sometimes you want to just start pumping when you put the suction cup on the glass because this suction cup is more concave, so you got to get more pressure. The air is going to be difficult to suck from the pump and it's going to be just get a red line, red line. So that was just, you can do this one. Okay, gauge. Tension. Remember, you can go high speed or lower speed. It's up to you. We got our sensors here, so it's this thing here. You feel that? My problem. I have a piece of paper. is coming with the with the line. I start touching here. So now I'm gonna play with my fingers. Just careful here. Keep pushing inside, and at the same time using the line because this kind of sensor. There you go. They're already big. There you go. I got a big bracket here. There you go. Don't worry about the bracket. I'm worried about the wires. There you go. Wire has to be safe, remember? Make sure you will catch any wire. You can feel you see how tension that one can be break if you don't feel you, you don't control your, your pull or your push I mean your tiger here okay okay now remember I forget again it's because I'm concentrate <laughs> with you guys talking and I forget to transfer my top all the time over here okay so just right there that so when I'm feeling more tension just I reduce the speed I just let it go a little bit I'm not gonna push it push it because people think when they have something very really big I'm talking about the gaps the people want to just push it more harder and that thing they think is gonna just make the cut more faster but the only you're gonna do is to snap the line okay so as you see I didn't make any cut in the video remember every time I'm talking to you guys I'm distracting myself watching this one and when I try to move it I just go here so remember soon you get right here just move it and that's it okay So as you see guys, this is the big gap over here and so as you see, no damage, so the pillar size they run really fast, no burns. This kind of material is easy to burn or mark, but you see, it's pretty clean, 
headliner is clean, dashboard is clean, so we don't have any any problem. This one, I don't know what happened there, but it wasn't my cord, because my cord is a little far away. Or maybe I did when I pushed it from here, but it's not a big deal. Okay, guys, you see, it's a lot of glue, but it's fine. It don't make any problem. So we finished. Okay, guys, so I'm gonna do my last install, my last set with my quick set. And after this, I'm just gonna find a way to move this tool and I'll show you shortly, okay guys? So see you tomorrow because I think that's the last one for me. I better finish four, so it was easy today. Okay guys, see you tomorrow. Hey Luis, so it's finally Friday, so that means we go home early. Sorry about the audio, we have a lot of wind, so it's gonna be a little difficult to hear everything, but I'm gonna show you on this one, is the RC350 2017. So we have to replace the back glass because it was broken on inside the shop. So one of the guys been working in this place and they broke it. So we're gonna use uh, Dillard Adam. I love this part because it's coming with encapsulate, got a clips, got connections, everything is set. Just we gotta do, plug in the connections, set the glass and that's it. Now, this kind of glass is really, you see the curb coming very, very, very uh, high in those corners. So I'm using my pro set, but the problem is this part of the pro set this time is not going to be able to go this way. So I have to just set the bottom and just fit the glass in one time. Okay, so now what I do, let me show you the interior. Remember this kind of glasses, uh, sometimes the problem is uh, the part going inside and remove the interiors. That's the only part we don't like in some bad glasses. Like this one, as you see, first you have to uh, open this panel, okay? But I'm sorry, first you have to remove this one. This one only has a one bolt right here. It's a cover. Take them off, move it, move to the right. If you want to take the bottom, you have to remove the seat. So what I do is just move the bolt right here. Move the, uh, um, all this area to the right side. Put a block here. Open this panel. This one you don't have to open. You can leave it right here. So, and you remove the panel, just clips, but careful because this kind of interior can be damaged easy with the, uh, the sharp corners and that's all you have to do. Both sides and you in. Okay guys, so now outside, what I do, I don't want to have a lot of glasses here, is just put a duct tape on the edge after, you know, after I remove the old broken glass here. And the only thing is just cut with the long knife and after that, it's ready just to remove in one piece. So you don't have to worry about those little teeny glasses going inside. So I hate those. It's really difficult to clean, especially in this kind of interiors. So as you see, in one piece. All right. And you see, you have to. You don't have to worry about those glasses on the edge. They're gonna just fall inside and mess everything here. Okay. So it's pretty clean. So I'm gonna just blow this um, dust right here, the dirt make it clean and i have to vacuum those glasses under the headliner inside the seats everything after that i just back just to set the glass and we finish now um i want to use the pro set with the open hood because that's the only way i can do it just by hand but the wind is really bad so it's gonna be with the glass because it's really light so what i'm doing i'm just gonna clamp right here but the doors clamps right here making it higher and remember we're gonna slide in through the under the hood I'm in the trunk. Okay guys, see you next shot. Let me just clean this and see you in the next. Okay guys, we're ready to set this one. Both parts been activated, so we're ready. All right. Okay, remember, I'm gonna go inside one time because I cannot use the part on the top. So I'm going like this. Remember, don't touch anything right there, right there, okay. There. We'll let it go on one time, okay. That one you hear is my ring, okay? There you go.
so finish here as you see nothing is squeezed i have the little foam inside so that's going to prevent the glue squeeze out because many back glasses believe it or not when they're being installed you can see the glue outside so it has to be clean like this so nothing has to be out so it's pretty nice clean so all set in place i like this one because it's encapsulated so it's coming with the light and everything i love these ones this one a mercedes i like it when it's factory part okay guys so now let's go inside and just take a look quick right here have to just clean that one and send it to detail because you still have to clean so as you see you can see the B expanding but it's not squeezing too much so you don't have to pass the area from the pitch wheel or it's gonna just be too far and you can plug you're gonna mess that or you're gonna put the interior and it's gonna show or touch okay guys so I'm gonna wait 15 minutes both parts so I'm gonna wait 15 minutes and after that I'll just put my interior because I don't want to touch the glue if in case I put my hands and my fingers too close so I don't want to do that so I'm gonna weigh that remember I'm gonna just open this one like this this one just slide in the panel put the clips put this one on this one on both we finish okay guys thank you for watching today it's Friday so I think it's we're gonna finish early today but I have plenty of stuff in the body shops and see you next okay so we're gonna just start putting back all the interior so I have to record this because that's my proof I didn't make any damage so first we're gonna cover these corners because that one's sometimes they are a little point shards for the interior special for these ones so one more over here and one more over here special this clip right here okay so now what we're doing gonna first connect plugs so two plugs I didn't connect it because what I want I don't want to lose which is the place for each um, you can you have you have the size but sometimes I want to just go like this you see the short one the long one because sometimes believe it or not I got people confused and they put it in the wrong place so okay so let me get that one I gotta vacuum this stuff Okay, so the long one, back over here, the short one, so like that, the short one is here, and we'll get this one right here, the plug is down there, Okay, and that's it. Okay, so you got the plugs in already. And now, we already wait 15 minutes, so the glue already dry, so we don't have any problem. Just touching it, you stick something on the, on the glue, it's gonna make a mess. So now here, you see it's really tight, but what you're gonna do, you're gonna reach the first, that hook right there, okay? Careful, because those clips can damage the interior, so just open the panel, put it in a place first careful with that okay so remember you got that one already in okay so you see the hook is already in now here the trick you just find the clip this one is not a problem but you see I'm touching this one this is what I'm talking about this is really careful with these sharp points because those can make a mark and there's nothing they can do to remove it so so we did okay now I gotta feel the clips okay it's not just push in you have to believe it or not feel the holes or you're gonna damage all the clips and it's gonna be a loosened panel uh, squeezing clicking noises like tick 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 and that does the people sometimes complaining a lot so when we remove the interiors my lucky this is a big trunk ah much much better okay you see I got a holes over there I got a holes in there my camera is gonna be on my way this time so I cannot show you because I have to go more in, but it's not a big deal, I can just feel it. So open this one, right here. Okay, so now I'm gonna just, see I gotta just make this kind of move. Because there's the clip right there. Just I need to feel, and let me just move a little bit here because I need to see 
but the camera is on my way so let me see if I can just go like this because this time the camera don't let me see it okay it's right you see is this one right here so the problem is only you gotta do is guy this guy a little more deep okay I got one of it in okay you see how easy it was now here and then all you have to do presser okay that's all you have to do don't hit it just press it those clips been designed to just snap in I mean not snap just go in and that's all you have to do and this area the panel is up so you gotta just go down a little bit take this one out careful with this one and this one just pushing down like this this one careful <clears throat> let's go back a little bit here because it's gonna be stuck right here in this corner so that's why you have to go in first here like that see everything's back by itself so it's nothing you have to hit of course the panel okay you see that so this is the way you put the panels back on the place don't force it don't hit it people just start hitting and believe it or not these ones sometimes they're easy to crack and they see the, the lines when they crack inside so just careful panel is good nothing loose and this one the easy that's it okay the only have to do is put the bolt in here my cover and we're finished okay right there i hit it, hit it right there just a little hit okay not too much okay guys so all fits perfectly no gaps nothing open no loose no broken clips didn't hear anything like, like if something fall inside the panels because when they broke the clips and nothing happened today okay guys so hope you like the video again i say see you next shot or you know we'll see you monday because probably i'm gonna be done in the body shop you know body shop is terrible that i work with the heat and sometimes i don't have time to put the videos but i maybe i will okay guys so thank you for watching see you next shot this was luis from video cars see you next hey guys it's me luis so we have this one is the chevy is the sonic so we have a big problem with this car so i didn't do the job it's another company nobody knows who did the job the customer just bring the car because they have a problems with the water leak it's really bad on the top so what i found is the glass is loose so in this part right here don't looks this looks normal but as you see and this part already has damage water spot over here also we see damage on the headliner on this area so on this part right here you can see the big water spots coming from this side so the problem is you see the glasses moving up you see all this area so what we're gonna do <clears throat> we're gonna pull the glass out without break so what i like with this glass is a gm so it's really strong glass so it's gonna hold the stress so let me go inside already set my wrd the spider tree we got the line set already so it's time to pull it out okay so let's gonna do so this is the only way to do it is the rni job so we're gonna just start it slowly remember it's after my i mean it's factory glass but we don't know how much glue we have so because it looks like they did the factory glass but i'm gonna go slowly in this case i'm pretty sure there's nothing on maybe no primer or or something just they just guys put the glue on and that's it right there So this is a perfect example when the people they're just working fast and they don't use any kind of uh, treatment for the glass like a, a better brief or better clean or, or priming activator you know just set the glass and that's it and slowly remember second speed i can feel the tension remember what i told you about the training your finger you, have, you need to know where to let it go and just push more torque mm -hmm. you gotta finish at that corner right there Right, uh, we're gonna use our protectors. 
here. I'm gonna go slowly, slowly. You can feel the glass. Feeling the glue breaking. Right there. Now, usually, you know, I just break the clips on this one. So what I'm doing, I don't want to take any risk. So I'm going to try just to get my gravity stops. Because I don't want to have any accident here. So let me bring my uh, bones right here. This one is really sharp and really thick. So it's going to be really nice to just open the clip a little bit. Because I don't want to have any accident. I this bad already. The only I want to do is just take the glue right there. That's all. And here, pushing all the way up just to avoid the clip. There you go. You see the part right here? Nothing attached in that area. So let's go to the other side. We're going to do the same. Okay. Okay, grab it, stop it, shoot in the corner here. Just a little bit. Got a glue. Okay guys, so we already wait. Sorry, I have to just uh, take some calls, so I have to just continue working. So we got the little body already set. We got the glue already on. And we're gonna set the glass now, okay? So let me just... Now remember my suction cap, one of my AES is bad, so I need to replace the pump. So I have just one already flat, my little body. Let me just careful with this. one hand to the end. but this is a little one so it's not a big deal all right so set this one Okay guys, so we finished, okay? So we already set the glass, so I'm gonna just push it down a little bit, put all parts together, let it dry here for probably one hour more, and it's ready to go. Okay guys, so we see, the problem probably was the top, only the top, okay? People didn't uh, put the glue on the right spot, so it was more down, so that's why the glue never touched. Okay guys, so we finished, thank you for watching, I'll see you in the next video. Because today I'm like this, just recall for something like reseals, you know, easy money, just the label. Okay guys, so see you tomorrow or later. Bye-bye.